Hello again, everyone. Just wanted to let you know what my progress was uh, getting this uh, lap dock to work with the uh, Raspberry Pi. I think I made a lot of progress here, so I want to show you what it turned out here. So, first thing, um, you're starting this up for the first time. You got to make sure that the uh, USB port's plugged in first, and you don't have to use the power one. You just use the uh, regular USB port. It'll be to power that way. You need to make sure the dock is opened and then you plug in the HDMI. I'm going to do that for you now. Okay, it's going to start booting up here. And another thing I ran into is that the uh, the previous image I was using was uh, part of a like a multi-boot system called Berry Boot, so I can boot several operating systems off the same uh, SD card. And it was an older version, and there was a problem with the driver, so for the audio for that. So, I just went ahead and just used a card that was dedicated for the uh, the Raspbian image. So I just got the latest one off of the uh, Raspberry Pi website. And then I ran updates. Uh, I can give you the uh, what I, the uh, commands I actually typed to actually do that, to get the updates run onto the uh, Raspberry Pi. And I did this through a wired connection. And uh, once I got everything updated, I went ahead and uh, uh, configured the Wi-Fi. And then from there, I... Uh, Ran a few commands to get the sound as well as the flash working on this. I'll show you how to do how I did both. Okay. Make sure this boots up proper. Don't want to make a fool of myself here. Okay, it's up. You see the mouse is working. Uh, same goes for the keyboard. Um, that was a problem before, like I said, if you didn't have the uh, things uh, connected in the right sequence, it wouldn't work. Another thing I noticed too is when I use a wired connection, that, uh, I don't know if you remember in the previous video when I talked about there was three chips on there that got, that got really hot and the network chip was one of them. If you're using a wireless connection, you're not using that chip inside the, inside the uh, Raspberry Pi, so you're actually helping to keep it cooler because you're using the Wi-Fi adapter right here instead. So yeah, that actually makes it cooler the, when you actually run run it with the Wi-Fi, believe it or not. Okay, looks like we're up and running here. So I want to see if we can play a sound first off. Make sure the sounds are working again. And uh, let's see here, let's still just play this little sound. And that works, so that got good sound running here. And I'll show you what I did to get that working. I uh, ran I had to go into this, uh, this uh, file here, the boot config text, text, and to make sure this line was uh, was, com was not uh, was uncommented. This one right here, normally there's like a little uh, pound sign next to it that makes it then be tells the uh, the uh, computer to ignore that file or no ignore that line in the file. So you just uh, take that little ex uh, 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 pound sign out. It makes it makes it uh, it tells it to uh, use the HDMI port for the sound. So I'm gonna do Control X to get out of here. You know, if you make changes, it'll ask you if you want to really do that. So you press Y and then press Enter to confirm it. The other file I modified was Etsy modules, and I'm not sure what's going on with this because you have the same line already here, but it has a da it has a dash instead of an underscore. So I went ahead and just followed the instructions that I saw, and I did just added a line to have the underscore instead, and it seemed to work. So again, Control X to get out. And if it prompts you, want to press Y to confirm the changes. Then uh, for this, for the uh, the uh, the uh, flash, what I did was is I did a uh, sudo apt get or apt dash get install. G N A S H, and that's the uh, the Flash player that you can you can run that on the uh, Raspberry Pi. After I ran that command, just accept uh, select a yes for any uh, prompts it gives you. I did apt get apt sudo apt dash get install, and then browser dash plugin dash gnash. Oh jeez. 
me try that again with dashes. Dash. Plug in. Dash ganache. And when you run that too, just again, follow the prompts if it asks you to confirm that any sort of changes at all. And uh, you should be good to go. I'm not going to run it because I've already installed it. Okay, so after you've got all that going, uh, you should be good to go. Let's verify that. Let's go to our web browser here. And we'll play a lizard video again. And again, notice that my uh, processor is staying relatively cool here at about 110 degrees. It's 43 degrees Celsius here is what it's saying. And I'm logged in as myself, so you see my, my video manager tools here. Ignore those. The processor does stay pegged at 100%, even though it's running, even though I have it overclocked at 950. But it's still staying relatively cool, especially since I'm not using the uh, the built-in network chip to keep it uh, keep the network on. Okay, a little of the graphic there. Alright, let's give it a try. You can see the lizard there. He's hopping onto the plate. And catching a fly. It was playing better before, I guess because I, guess I just reloaded the computer. Somebody else suggested I uh, try a YouTube download program, just play it natively. And I might try that too, but uh, the, whole point, the whole point of this is just to get it working with the browser, actually. Let's see if they'll play any better now that it's actually loaded. Huh. <laughs> well, not really. 
I'll have to take a look at the overclocking and see if it's actually set properly. Okay, well that's enough of that. But it does work. I mean, it's probably not the best solution, but again, that's not the point of this computer in the first place. Uh, it did seem to overtax the computer a little bit. It's back up to 46, well, 47, it's back going back to 46. Okay, that's fine. Um, I want to show you how it's managed to the overclocking as well. Make this work a little more efficiently. We're going to go to uh, RASPI dot config or dash config and again I gotta run to this root so let's do sudo raspi dash config okay and this is the uh, screen you'll first see when you first uh, boot up a uh, raspbian for the first time just to follow the prompts there but the one I'm concerned about right now is configure overclocking. Let's see what it's set to. All right, and uh, we actually want that set to a thousand. It's going to ask us if we want to reboot it, so we're going to say no for now because there's one more thing I want to do. I want to show you how the uh, computer uh, the computer responds when you shut it down. So now let's go here, do log out, and do shut down. The reason I'm showing you this is that before, when you did the shutdown, it would just uh, it wouldn't actually turn itself off; it would just reboot again and turn back on. I just want to show you that this time it actually uh, behaves properly. You should see a little box popping up showing that there's no in, in, no signal on the HDMI, it's just like in your standard TV set. And we'll give it about maybe 15 seconds or so, and you'll see that it won't come back on again; it stays turned off. So connected to power, it's charging right now. You see the flashing light here. And the lights stay on, but the computer doesn't. So like, you know, if I try and double tap on this, oh, I scan corrected, it does turn off. I wasn't doing that before. But the caps lock is locked on. Okay, that's what it was. Okay, cool. Good to know. Alright, but if you shut it down, or close the, close the door, and then open it back up again. It turns the pie back on. Now my concern is if you overclock it too much, it could cause the uh, SD card to start getting corrupt. And I think that might uh, happen this time. I want to see if it boots up properly this time. looking good so far. Nice. Mouse works. keyboard works. Very nice. Okay, there's one more thing I want to do here. Um, got my handy cell phone here. What I'm going to do is uh, turn on the turn on the uh, Wi-Fi configure uh, Wi-Fi uh, wi tethering. So Turn that on. OK. 
Okay. And now we're gonna to go to Wi-Fi configuration. Now it's already connected to my router in the house. Instead, we'll use uh, this connection here. That ain't good. Let's try it again. By the password in there wrong. Which actually brings up another issue I ran into uh, when I was trying to get the Wi Fi working. It was just suddenly just stopped working, no explanation why. And it turned out I had to reset the connection for both the uh, wireless mouse as well as the, uh, the Wi Fi itself. I had to unplug them both and replug them back in again, and it suddenly just started working again. Let's see if we can connect back to a regular network. Okay, that worked. Let's disconnect from it. And I think I just uh, messed up my network. So this is a good opportunity to show you what to do here. Let's enable it. Let's scan again. It doesn't see anything. So yeah, what happened was uh, the Wi-Fi wi wi just suddenly stopped working here. So let's go ahead and stop that. And we're going to Pull out the Wi-Fi adapter. Pull out the adapter for the wireless mouse. Getting really hot too. I don't know if that's anything to do with it. Now the blue light's flashing again, so it's coming back online. Oops, it's upside down. There we go. Just like that, it connects. Okay, so let's try again so we can get the, uh, the phone connected this time. It's going to disconnect.
and getting this error 15, which is basically a fatal error. The, the Wi-Fi just died. So yeah, i got to reset them both again. That's good to know. Didn't realize that was so flaky. Okay, one more try. Yikes. Huh. It is getting hot. Alright, I'm not going to push my luck with that anymore. It's connected to the whimsy Wi-Fi. It's happy with that. We're going to leave that alone. Okay. Nice got a strong signal there. Alright, and uh, let's make sure we still get online. And yep, the lizard's back. see my channel too. So yeah, it looks like we're good. Okay. So I just wanted to show you what I did to get that all working again. And again, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. Just uh, leave a comment in the, uh, the section down below. If you like this, uh, go ahead and like the video for me. That way I know I can that, that way I know what I can, uh, what you like, what I can make uh, make videos more of. Help me uh, kind of get a pulse of what you want. So uh, thank you very much.